good morning students myself vijay shankar from ec department chipdol engineering college today we are going to discuss about the another topic in the electromagnetic wave characteristics that is uh, uniform plane wave in free space okay next day class uh, we derive the waveform equations uh, Uh, general equations for e bar b bar h bar and b bar see for the h bar the wave equation for the h bar <clears throat> here there is a sigma into delta cross e bar plus uh, epsilon into dot by dot of uh, delta cross e bar so delta cross e bar is replaced with the minus mu dot by dot dou h bar by dou t so here already the dou by dou t is already there there is some mistake uh, in yesterday class here there is another dou by dou t okay please note down my dear student this one there is a printing mistake here del cross del cross h bar is equal to sigma into del cross e bar plus epsilon into dou by dou t of del cross e bar so in this uh, 13th equation you can replace the del cross e bar is equal to minus mu dou h bar by dou t so del cross del cross h bar is equal to sigma into minus mu dou h bar by dou t as of uh, del cross h bar and the epsilon is here And dou by dou t is not there. So del cross h bar is equal to minus mu of dou h bar by dou t. Then here it is becomes of del square by not the del square dou square h bar by dou t square. After that it is a minus mu into sigma dou h bar by dou t and minus mu epsilon dou square h bar by dou t square. Got it, my dear students? There is a some mistake here. Then we'll get here dou square h bar by dou t square. Here also the mistake is there. Dou t square. Got it. Please note down that. We we'll go for the next topic: the uh, uniform plane wave in free space. In yesterday class uh, we discussed. Uh, Few amounts for this. Again, I will start uh, to derive the expressions of a uh, uniform plane wave in free space. According to the Faraday's law, the, not the Faraday's law, modified Ampere circuit law, del cross h bar is equal to j bar plus dou d bar by dou t. J bar plus dou d bar by dou t. J bar means Uh, conduction current density jc that jc is equal to sigma into e bar because it is a free space and nothing but a dielectric uh, sigma by the omega epsilon is very much less than the one is a perfect dielectric sigma is very much less than the omega epsilon okay so J bar is equal to sigma into E bar. Got it, my dear students. Sigma, the conductivity is very very less here. In the dielectric, the conductivity is very less, so the sigma is equal to zero. The J bar is equal to zero. Then becomes uh, the it's a perfect uh, dielectric. Uh, J bar is equal to zero. The equation becomes a uh, del cross H bar is equal to dou D bar by dou T. So before that, you have to know. In electromagnetic wave traveling in free space, consider that electric field E bar is in the x direction. Is in x direction means uh, it is a E x bar, and uh, magnetic field is in y direction. So H y bar. In this, uh, the uniform plane wave in free space. Uh, 
both the fields will not vary with respect to the will not vary will not vary with respect to x and the y with respect to the y we can apply the derivative with respect to x or the derivative with respect to y for e both the fields selective field and the magnetic field is not varying that means zero it varies with respect to the z only and another condition here they will also change with the time as the wave propagates in a free space that means here when the ex bar ex e is in the x direction means ey and the ez is equal to zero this is also the other condition if h is in the y direction magnetic field is in the y direction means hx and hz is also the zero hx and hz is equal to zero so remember these conditions then substitute the d bar as uh, the coordinates uh, rectangular coordinate system the rectangular coordinate system dx ax bar plus dy ay bar plus dz into az bar now you can find the del cross h bar with some conditions we have del cross h bar is equal to listen carefully here del cross h bar is equal to ax bar ay bar and az bar do by do x do by do y do by do z and here i am taking the h terms hx hy and the hz okay so del functions is a do by do x do by do y and do do do, do by do z and h is a hx hy and hz write the first equation the first equation for the ax bar means you can see the ax bar is for do by do y into hz minus do by do z into hy all multiplied with the ax bar okay what is it ad minus bc like this so this is the first equation first term here do hz by do y minus do hy by do z into ax bar for the second function for the second function let me take the plus ay means uh, do by do x into hz minus do by do z into hx whole multiply with the minus ay bar minus ay bar so minus you can multiply it becomes a plus and this term is a minus okay so do by do do by do z of hx minus do hz by do x into ay bar okay you can multiply the minus for the second term and the last term az bar take these four do by do x of hy minus do by do y into hx all multiply with the az bar okay do hy by do x minus do hx by do y into az bar the third term we got and is equal to do by do t of dx ax bar plus dy ay bar plus dz az bar and here as h bar is in y direction hx hz is equal to 0 hx wherever the hx is there that is a 0 hx is a 0 and another hx here the hx is a 0 and hz is also 0 hz is 0 hz is 0 and we have only the two terms remaining that is hy in this also the another condition we have the other condition is it is not varying with respect to the x either is a h or e not varying with respect to the x so do by do x is there not varying with respect to x means the term do hy and do x is also 
get cancer. Only the remaining is uh, to HY by do Z into the AX bar is the only one term we have minus uh, do by do Z HY into AX bar in the left hand side. By applying the conditions HX and HZ is equal to zero and magnetic field and the electric field not varying with respect to the X, it varying with respect to the Z only, Z only. So do HY by do Z into AX bar is equal to do by do T of DX AX bar, DY AY bar and DZ AZ bar. Understood my students. Now comparing uh, only the AX terms, LHS and RHS, remove the Y terms and the Z terms. We have do HY by do Z is equal to do DX by do T. And uh, dx is replaced with the epsilon into e bar epsilon into e bar the equation becomes uh, do hy by do z minus is there is equal to epsilon into do ex by do t otherwise uh, do hy by do z is equal to minus epsilon into do ex by the do t means h is in the y direction e is in the x direction with respect to the z only we have the values okay equation one equation one so we derive this equation from the ampere circuit modified ampere circuit and the next equation from the faraday's law assume that is a delta c bar is equal to minus do by do t of t bar this is the equation matters now the del cross e bar is equal to again you can take the x bar a y bar a z bar and do by do x do by do y and do by do z and here they can take the e not the h sorry ex ey and ez okay i can find the first term ax bar coefficient is for these four functions do by do y into ez minus do by do z of ey Okay, see the same function we got here the first term, do by do z e y minus do e z by do y. Okay, why it is a minus means already we have that is a a x bar, you can take here the plus do e z only, sorry here, do by do y into e z only and minus do e z by do y. Let us say this is a minus term and this is a plus term, my dear students. First of all, then minus a y bar into minus a y bar into the terms are here do by do x into e z bar e z minus do by do z into ex now multiply the minus here it becomes a plus and here the minus and the plus so see the second term here do by do z of ex by do z minus do by do x of ez second term is okay and the third term az bar is multiplied the coefficient these four terms do by do x of do by do x of e y minus do by do y of e x. What is my difference? Into a bar. And here see do e x by do y minus do e y by do x. Here also it is a plus 
and this one you can give the minus into a z bar that is equal to minus dou by dou t of b bar b x a x bar b y a y bar b z a z bar. The first condition you can apply here because uh, the e value e is in the x direction e is in the x direction so e y and e z e y e z is equal to zero. So wherever the e y is there, that is a zero. E z is also zero. E y is a zero. And E Z is also zero. Got it, my students. And again, the magnetic field and the electric field not varying with respect to the y. So you get the dou by y is the dou y is there. It is not varying with respect to the y. It varying only the with respect to the z only. Dou by dou z of E X. Okay. In the left hand side, it remains uh, dou by dou z of uh, ex into a y bar okay my dear students a y bar so now you can compare here a y bar only understood here it is a plus or minus if it is a uh, wrong also they are get cancelled of all the terms only we have the dou e z by dou x only okay so now, in the right hand side, comparing the only the term b y term here minus uh, do by do t of b y and do e x by do z. The so both are in the y directions. Got it. So finally, we got uh, do e x by do z is equal to minus do by do t of uh, b y. Now the B term, we can replace with the H term with the relation of a B bar is equal to mu into H bar. So dou E X by the dou Z. See here also with respect to the Z only the term we have minus mu into dou H Y by dou D. Got it, my respect. And now, Rewrite this function as a dou h y by dou t is equal to minus one by mu into dou e x by dou z. It's the second equation. It's the second equation. Okay. Understood. By Faraday's law, we derive the function and by using the amperes modified ampere circuit law it derive the equation we got uh, one is uh, dou by dou h y by dou t is equal to minus one by mu into dou e x by dou z got it my friends then here both sides we can take it as uh, both sides uh, differentiating the equation one let what is the equation one here with respect to the t equation one is uh, this is the equation two equation one is two h y by two z my dear students two z is equal to minus epsilon into two e x by two t is a z the equation one Okay, my dear students. We got here dou h y by dou t. So multiply or differentiation on both sides uh, with the uh, with respect to the t. So now I am taking the dou by dou t of uh, dou by dou t of uh, dou h y by dou z is equal to minus epsilon into here dou by dou t is already there so it becomes of dou square by dou t square into e x okay now it becomes of a dou square h y by dou t and the dou z with respect to the t and with respect to the z is equal to minus epsilon into dou square by dou t square 
into ex what it matters to us remember this equation and similarly to equate the two functions uh, here we can derive or differentiation on both sides with the do by do z do by do z of uh, do hy by the do t is equal to minus 1 by mu into already here the do z is there so it becomes of do square ex by do z square okay so now we can observe here these two equations are the same in the left hand side do square hy by do t do z is equal to minus epsilon do square by do t square ex And here minus one by mu into do square e x by do z square. Here it is a t square and here it is z z square minus. Okay. Now after comparing the these two equations, we can write as minus epsilon into do square by do t square e x is equal to, and this one minus one by mu into Do square e x by do z square. Okay, and both sides is a minus is there. It becomes a plus, and again they rewrite the function as a do square e x by do t square is equal to. Now we can bring the epsilon in the. Right hand side becomes of mu epsilon into do square e x by do z square. Okay. Now this equation is again comparing with the do square e x by do t square is equal to. One by v square into do square e x by do z square minus one. So after the comparing of these two functions, uh, these two functions, see what is a one by v square is equal to one by v square is equal to one by not one by v square is equal. Sorry. See, it is not the one by v square part of students. So v square is equal. To, okay, v square is equal. To, so v square is equal to v square is equal to one by mu epsilon, and v is equal. To, One by the under root of mu epsilon. The velocity of the propagation v is equal to not the potential matter strength. It is the velocity of propagation or propagation velocity v is equal to one by under root of mu epsilon. And mu is equal to four point ten to the power of minus seven and epsilon is equal to eight point eight five four ten to the power of minus twelve. It is approximately equal to One twenty pi, I think. Okay, my dear students. Now you can see whether this equation so you get the same or not. V is equal to. See here the V is equal to. We got a V is equal to under root of one by one by under root of mu epsilon. Okay, do square e x by do t square. Do square e x by do t square is equal to one by mu epsilon. Do square e x by do z. So according to the results in the physics, uh, v is equal to the velocity of propagation is also called uh, a wave velocity. For the free space, it is denoted by c and is equal the value is three hundred and four eight meters per second. Got it, my dear students? The velocity of propagation, also called wave velocity, v is equal to one by under root of. Uh, One by under root of mu epsilon, where the mu is equal to. We can find out the equation pi into ten to the power of minus seven, and epsilon is equal to 
equal to 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12. Take under root of these two equations, which is approximately equal to the 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second only. Okay. The uniform plane wave in a free space. We got a velocity of a propagation or wave velocity. Do square e x by dot t square is equal to b square into do square e x by dot z square. The above equation is a wave equation and it is a differential equation of a second order. Solving this mathematically, the solution is given by. Means you can take the e x means electroelectric field in the x direction with the cosine wave having a positive amplitude and a negative amplitude. Let us assume Ex is equal to Em plus cos omega t minus beta z plus Em minus cos omega t plus beta z volts per meter. The above equation 7 is a sinusoidal function consisting of two components of the electric field. One is in the forward direction, another one is a backward direction. The wave consists of one component of field traveling in positive z direction, having the amplitude is Em plus, while other component having the Em minus traveling in the negative z direction. Okay. Now I am taking here the omega is a common term, Ex is equal to Em plus cos omega. Omega is a common T minus beta omega z plus Em minus cos omega. Let's take the common T plus beta omega, beta by omega into z. Two partial differentiations of equation 8. Two partial differentiations. You can apply the partial differentiation. Do Ex by do t, do Ex by do z square. Z means here the z is there. So, Em plus cos omega t minus beta omega into z and the beta omega. Let us take it as a Ex. One time you can apply the dou bar. First derivative, you can apply the first derivative, my dear students, for the, this Ex. Do by Ex is equal to Em plus Em plus. Okay, the cos omega t minus beta omega into z. You can apply that is a sine term. And with respect to z, we are applying here. Sorry, there is not a. So e x by the do z. With respect to the x z we are applying, so the term is here beta omega z. We not the beta by omega z coefficient. Okay, one time we will get the minus beta omega. Similarly, this is a em plus. For the second term also, for the second term also, em plus Em minus, sorry, Em minus. Again, the cost function, you can get the derivative with respect to the z. And uh, the z coefficient is a beta by the omega. Beta by the omega. Got it, my respect. Then, dou square Ex by dou z square. The second derivative, now we can apply the dou by dou z square into Ex is equal to for the same function, whatever we got here is sine function and here the sine cosine becomes a sine and the cosine becomes a sine here. Again, you can apply the derivative Em plus, this is a coefficient. Sine becomes again the cos and the z coefficient is a minus beta omega. Already the minus beta omega is a minus into minus is a plus beta square by omega square. Okay, my dear students. The same function again will get cos. Cos one time will be the sine. Second derivative it becomes a, again the cos. Got it? Plus Em minus. For the first derivative the cosine becomes a sine and the second derivative sine becomes a cosine. And 
for the second derivative of the z coefficient is a beta omega beta by omega is there already the beta omega is first derivative for the second derivative also you get the beta by omega the square so we got the do square by do z square e x is equal to em plus cos omega t minus beta omega into z beta square omega square and here also beta square omega square beta by omega square take the common as beta square by the omega square worried by the square and again we can apply here with respect to the t with respect to the t so first time we'll get this cosine is a sign second time we'll get the sine is a cosine the same function will get the same function will get for the do square e x by the do t square also okay now we can multiply these two as a beta square by omega square the term will get the beta square by the omega square what it my students so we already compare this equation with v square you see do square e x by the do z square do square e x by do z square and do square e x by do t square okay from this equation you can write this do square e x by do z square is equal to now i am writing this a 1 by v square 1 by v square into do square e x by the do z t square now compare the equation now with this uh, equation see in the left hand side both side is a do square e x by do z square do square e x by do z square only in the right hand side also do square e x by do t square but 1 by v square is equal to 1 by v square is equal to beta square by omega square and v square is equal to omega square by the beta square and v is equal to omega by beta another equation now the v is equal to the wave velocity of propagation or the wave velocity is equal to omega by beta you know this equation we already derived in the one of the chapter okay the v is equal to now we got uh, in terms of the constants uh, under root of mu uh, epsilon and now here it is a omega is equal to omega by beta what is the omega 2 pi f what is the beta in terms of the lambda 2 pi by lambda 2 pi 2 pi get cancel the another relation is there for the v v is equal to f lambda so v is equal to f lambda so we got the three equations for the v v is equal to 1 by under root of uh, mu epsilon and another one is a v is equal to f lambda after substituting the v is equal to omega is a 2 pi f and the beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda 2 pi 2 pi get cancel lambda will get in the numerator v is equal to f lambda three equations we got for the wave velocity or propagation velocity v is equal to 1 by under root of mu epsilon v is equal to f lambda v is equal to omega by beta got it my dear students and similar way we can put in terms of the do hy by do t also do hy by do t hy is equal to hm plus cos omega t minus beta z and hm minus is cos omega t beta z also as we get in the ex is equal ex is equal to with the amplitudes of a positive direction and the negative direction the cosine similarly for the magnetic field also hm plus positive direction and the negative direction of hm plus and h of minus okay now this equation is similar to the seventh equation representing the two components of magnetic field one is in the forward direction while another in the backward direction okay 
it is clear that uh, when we assume x component for e bar, it results in y component for h bar. So here, for x bar, x component is e x, and y is the h y component. Both e bar and h bar in the time phase, and both are perpendicular to each other. When the x is in the e that e is in the x direction, y h is in the y direction means both are in the perpendicular directions. Both these fields in the lie in a plane which is perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. Thus, e bar and h bar together form a TEM transverse electromagnetic wave with one forward traveling wave in a positive z direction with velocity is w by theta and another backward traveling wave in the negative z direction with the same velocity okay the e bar and h bar together form a transverse electromagnetic wave tem wave one is forwarding a forward traveling wave in a positive z direction with a velocity the same velocity another is a backward traveling wave in the negative z direction with the same velocity either it is in the backward or the frontward okay thus e bar and h bar are only the functions of the direction of the traveling uh, travel and the time okay in general when any wave propagates in a medium it gets attenuated it gets attenuated the amplitude of the signal reduces this represents the attenuation constant alpha in the propagation constant p is equal to alpha plus i into beta the propagation constant where alpha is attenuation beta is a phase constant if any wave is propagated in a media that gets it attenuated means uh, the amplitude is some reduces this represents attenuation constant alpha it measures in napier per beta but practically it is expressed in decibels the conversation between the basic unit napier and the decibel is given by 1 napier is equal to 8. Point. 686 decibels it is also observed that the when the wave propagates the phase change also takes place beta such a phase change is expressed by the phase beta it represents in the radian per meter beta is equal to phase constant beta is equal to radian per meter okay so the gamma is equal to or the p is equal to the p we are considering the trap transmission lines my dear students now the propagation constant in the electromagnetic wave characteristics gamma is equal to alpha plus i beta the propagation constant now we can represent it as a gamma gamma is equal to alpha plus i beta the ratio of amplitudes of e bar to the h bar e bar to the h bar means e m plus by hm plus is equal to minus em minus by the hm minus is nothing but uh, the eta intrinsic impedance the ratio of amplitudes of e bar to h bar em plus or hm plus of the waves in either direction is called intrinsic impedance of the material in which the wave is traveling it is denoted by the eta it is denoted by the eta eta is equal to em plus by hm plus is equal to minus em minus by hm minus okay what is a em plus hm minus means sir when we compare here the omega mu by em plus and the hm minus sir is equal em minus the hm minus or the em plus by the hm plus omega mu by the beta omega mu by the beta one h hm plus the coefficient of hm plus here if the beta is a beta that z here the beta by the omega is there the coefficient you see here beta by the omega hy is equal to. okay 
So omega mu by the beta, omega by beta is a V. And this is a omega by beta is a V into mu. What is a V is equal to 1 by under root of mu epsilon. And eta is equal to under root of mu by epsilon. Okay, my dear students. So eta is equal to the ratio between of em plus by hm plus. That value is uh, omega mu by the beta. What is a omega by beta is the v. V into mu. What is a v in terms of a mu and epsilon? Mu epsilon into mu. And here the mu is get cancelled with the root. Uh, with the root mu. So, eta is equal to under root of mu by epsilon. Again, the mu you can substitute as a 4 pi into 10 power of minus 7. And by 8.854 into 10 power of minus 12. It is, I think it is, this is equal to the 120 pi r, 370 ohms or 3 something. Okay, let us see that also. 120 pi and 377 ohms minus by taking the values of mu naught and the epsilon naught in the free space because this is a uniform plane wave for the free space only. The eta is equal to under root of mu naught by the epsilon naught. And V is equal to C. So 1 by the under root of mu naught into epsilon naught approximately equal to the 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. I already told the lambda is equal to 2 pi by the beta. And the relation of V is again the F into lambda. The velocity v is equal to f lambda. Okay. So, in this uh, uniform plane wave, we derive the, the velocity is equal to omega by beta. The velocity is equal to 1 pi under root of mu epsilon. And same that velocity is equal to f lambda. And another one is the eta is there. The eta is uh, the ratio between of em plus pi the hm plus. That is equal to minus em minus by hm minus. The value is omega mu by the beta. Means uh, b into mu or otherwise under root of uh, mu by epsilon. Or otherwise it is a value of 120 pi ohms or 377 approximately ohms. What it matters to us. Okay. And that V, how we got the F lambda, I already wrote 2 pi F into beta. Beta is a 2 pi by lambda, not the 2 pi by beta. Okay, lambda is, beta is equal to 2 pi by the lambda. So, V is equal to F lambda. Got it? These all the parameters we got in the uniform plane wave for in free space. Got it, my dear students? It's a very, very important. 